do anything, a man and a woman should be brought together, before anything is formed. Man is half, likewise is a woman half. There is nothing created by God that does not have some specific assignment. Everything created by God has some specific assignment to carry out. And so it is our duty to investigate the assignment of each one of us and the purpose for which he has created us. Upon all the book knowledge you claim to have acquired, your claims to have lived in planets for many years, but did you know, man, woman, and child in the entire world come from the same father? The opinion of the woman should be taken into consideration as well as that of the man. Do you know the role a woman is coming to play in the world? I know, as you are sitting down here, you do not regard any woman as something. You even respect your domestic animals in your house more than the woman. You command them in the house like soldiers in the war front. You hush them up, asking them to stand up, when you are talking, threatening to beat them up, if they fail to take your orders. When I hear all these things, I shed tears for the woman. The judgment of all those who maltreat women is coming soon, and it will be very severe. You only need a woman for one thing and after, you torment her. All of you here have in one way or the other deceived a woman. Even if you have not been telling lies to other people, you will start to tell lies to a woman. When things are so bad with you, you go and attach yourself to a woman, promising to marry her, and she will accept you, not knowing, you are deceiving her. Women are easily deceived, because they do not believe in the truth, they yield easily to falsehood. Women assume to know everything, not knowing, they do not know anything. There is a fierce war between the men and the women. The men plan on how to deceive as many women as possible, and the women on the other hand plan on how to enslave men to themselves. Do not deceive a woman again, for women are your sisters and you all are one. Read Matthew chapter 27 verses 15 to 20. Now at that feast the governor was one to release unto the people a prisoner, who they would. And they had then a notable prisoner, called Barabbas. Therefore, when they were gathered together, Pilate said unto them, Whom will ye that I release unto you? Barabbas, or Jesus which is called Christ. For he knew, that for envy they had delivered him. When he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with that just man, for I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. But the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitude that they should ask Barabbas, and destroy Jesus. Matthew chapter 27 verses 15 to 20. You are the only person who has the effrontery to marry so many women, but if you see your wife with another man, the house is set on fire. If Pilate had listened to the advice given by his wife, would he have perished? The wife told him to have nothing to do with that good man. Pilate did not listen to his wife, as you do not listen to your wives today, and you have to perish. In the compound, where you live, all those who love you or hate you are known by your wife, but you are ignorant of everything. The only thing you do is to look for money and other material things, but your wife knows the intricacies of life. It is your wife who protects your soul. Do you not know, your life is in the hands of your wife? She will be the first person to know whatever is going to happen to you. If she wants you to go naked, cry today, laugh or rejoice, she is capable of doing it. If she wants you to die today, she will as well do it. Even though you would want to go to the sun, or moon to discover the mysteries existing in these planes, but I tell you emphatically, your life is in the hands of your wife. She is capable of making you to be poor or rich, if she wants to. Your troubles, problems, difficulties and the rest of the unfortunate events occur because you do not make arrangements with your wife. You only go to her when things are bad with you. When things are good with you, you go and attach yourself to another woman in the world and ignore your wife. When you meet with diverse conditions you run back to her again. All the petitions of your wives are before God, and they are many. They have suffered so much, because you do not treat them as your brethren. And the judgment for those who maltreat their wives is a difficult one. 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 7, Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife, as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. That is why, I always sympathize with you, because, whether you acquire worldly knowledge or possessions, study in higher institutions of learning and be a member of any religious organization, you are completely useless, as long as you do not give honor and respect to your wives. Brethren, have you heard the text read to you? 
Can you rightly say, God answers your prayers, as long as you continue to maltreat your wife? God does not listen to your prayers, because you do not love your wife. You have never invited a person of your age group for wrestling, but every time you will box your wife, beat her up and throw her away, because she will fall immediately, when you push her. I am very sorry for women, because immediately you are hard on them, they will begin to sob and surrender. As God compares himself with man, so does he compare man with a woman. The wisdom of God is greater than that of man, and that of man is greater than that of a woman. Man's knowledge or intelligence is greater than that of a woman. Genesis chapter 1 verses 29 and 30, And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb-bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree, in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed, to you it shall be for meat. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat, and it was so. Only fruits and seeds are given to man as food. Have you heard, brethren? When were you given the authority to kill and eat an animal? If you eat the meat of any animal, do you not know, you have eaten man? That is the very first offense against God. That is why I have devoted this time to teach you. All the words of God given to you now are not new. They are all those old words which had been given to you, but which you have failed to put into practice. You should know, the moment you eat meat you have defiled the temple of the living God, and it is from that moment, you begin to suffer. Where do you think the blood that comes from human beings, goats, hens, and other animals go to? You should think over all these things, having realized, as man has blood, so also has a cow, hen, goat, and other animals. They all have one and same type of blood. Why you people establish all types of institutions like the cinema houses, ballrooms, dance halls, you brew beer and other types of liquor, so as to obtain some temporary relief from life's tedium. You want some type of consolation, because you have no peace in life, and so you would want somebody to give you peace. If you had been told some time ago, you would stay without drinking beer or any other drink and still remain healthy, would you have believed? If you had been told, you would live without taking injections and drugs, and, you would not go to Jujuman, Soothsayer and to the Necromancer to inject black charcoal into your body, or to give you charms, talismans or concoction to wear, would you have believed? If you had been told, in this world you would lie alone on your bed, would you have believed? You would have said that type of thing would not have happened in this world. There is no man who sees the usefulness of the woman, apart from being on the bed with her. Even if she buys you a car, an airplane, an ocean steamer, or any other thing, you will tell her to keep all those things aside, and allow you to face important things. Our thoughts are all buried in this one fact, the idea of every man wanting to have carnal knowledge of all women. This is why immediately you see a man and woman, you conclude, they have been intimate. Even if this woman gives you a thousand nairas, the other person is not bothered about that. What concerns him or her most is, you had been intimate with that woman. Women should be considered in all fields of endeavors. Learn from what we practice here in brotherhood. In any of the meetings or fellowships, if the president or chairman is a man, the vice president is a woman. If a woman is made the secretary, the assistant secretary will be a man, just like that throughout. There is no business which selects men only and it works well. It will be war altogether. And there is no business which selects women only and it works well. This is, because there will be peace all through, without any war. These two things have to work hand in hand. You only adopt this policy, when you come in here, but immediately you depart from this place, you say, such a policy can only be adopted inside brotherhood and not elsewhere. You also know, a man has his specific role to play in this kingdom, of which no woman, no matter her education or her position, can qualify her to be used as a substitute for a man. That is why, I say, the first job I have to do is to unite all human beings inhabiting this globe. Be they black, white or colored, man, woman or child, all of them have to be brought together. Can you tell me the reason you do not regard a woman as yourself? Is it because of the bride price you paid to the parents, and so you feel you have bought an article? And for that reason, you have to jealously guard against this article. You hush her, command her, you placed so much money on her head that you can even decide to kill her, since it was your money you spent on her, and that it does not bother you at all. 
the woman will only argue. If you kill her, you would only lose your.